Cool. I love Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, but sometimes I like to go back to playing Ghosts. The Honey Badger. If only I had one of these in Airsoft. Oh my gosh. I could only but dream. I could only but dream. I could only but dream. Let's get to it. Amoeba AM013. Groovy. This has to be one of the coolest looking M4 platforms I have seen in a long while. And what a beautiful piece. Of course, straight away, all you Call of Duty lovers out there will recognize this bad boy because I do believe it appears in Call of Duty Ghosts absolutely fantastic let me just take you around the gun i will say this though on the call of duty ghost game you will notice that this part of the handguard is smaller and you see more of the mock suppressor or the suppressor in the game and this one being the more recognizable version from the game so this model right here has the full handguard let's just take you through all the features of this gun it's mainly made out of tough nylon fiber reinforced polymer. But of course, there are many metal parts to this gun. For example, your mock suppressor is metal. The whole of the handguard right here is metal. Of course, the barrel inside is metal. This part of the gun right here, which makes up the stock, is metal. And of course, it comes with a metal gearbox. We'll get back to the gearbox a little later in this review. So let's talk about the stock. It's got a nice adjustable two point MP5 style stock. Very nice. It's got a button here and here. And when you press that button, it ejects the stock out. Watch. Very nice. And you just pull it all the way out to give yourself that nice longer AR. But of course, in some CQB situations, you might not want it extended. So just simply press on those buttons and push it back in. Nice. This Ares Amoeba also comes with a modular rail system which enables you to place or move additional rails to whatever position you like on the handguard. I think that is absolutely cool. So if I show you right here, can you see all these positions right here? Each one having a screw hole either side 
all the way around the handguard. That means you can use these additional rails and place them anywhere you like to your heart's content on this handguard. I think that's absolutely awesome. So you could even put a nice, say, a lighting system right there or a laser just on the side at an angle or just put it on the side right there or beneath or on top. I'm telling you, this is absolutely fantastic. I like it. You can even move these hand stops or thumb stops, if you like, to any position on the gun. They do not have to be one on the top, one on the bottom, or in fact, you can just remove them completely because these are not to everyone's taste. But for me, I like it. It just makes the gun different. It makes it stand out from the rest. This Aries Amoeba AM013 also includes flip up sights. But I tell you what, for the purpose of this review, let's just call it a honey badger. We know technically we're not allowed to call it honey badger because it's not licensed, but it's a honey badger, come on. So just for the purpose of this review, and it'll make it a lot easier for me than me keep on saying Aries Amoeba AM013. I'm just gonna say honey badger. Right, okay. So this honey badger comes with two sights and they're both flip up. Look, one at the front and one at the back. Now, if these sights remind you of something, well, it's probably because they're reminding you of the Troy Industries battle sights. Yes, they are based on those sights. Let me just show you. Here's the Troy Industries battle sight. And here's the rear one here. And right here, you can see it says, folding battle sight, Troy Industries. And if you look at this cheeky honey badger from Aries Amoeba one, it says, Toys Industries. I think that's quite funny. But yeah, it's a nice little replica of the proper Troy one. The only difference being, like if you look on the rear sight right here, it looks as if it's adjustable, yeah? For elevation and windage. Uh, no, unfortunately, they're fixed. Unlike the proper Troy Industries one, which is adjustable. But hey, no big deal. You can always whip these off and put on whatever sight system you like on the back and at the front. And in fact, I'm gonna end up swapping these out with a proper Troy Industries one. So what else can I show you about this gun? Well, look at this fantastic looking mag. It's the P-Mag 300 with the dummy rounds right here. Can you see? It also features this cool little feature right here at the bottom where you have this nice little pull system right here or a mag pull if you like, uh, which enables you to take it out of your pouches. And I think that's pretty nice, pretty cool. I love that it can fold away. Very nice system. As I said, this is a high cap one, so it takes about 300. You got your standard wheel down there at the bottom. What I also love about this is the markings that it has on the side there, look. And also right here, I love that. It says restricted law enforcement and government use only. <laughs> nice little touch. So let's see how it looks in the gun. Nice. Now I do know that high cap magazines are not to everyone's taste because there's too much rattling going on sometimes and it kind of gives away your position if you're moving around or running around. But hey, no biggie, because you can buy the mid cap version of this, I do believe. And you can also use many other makes of magazines in this gun. Now, before I go any further with this review, I'm gonna get rid of this annoying little hanging piece of card. Now, I say annoying, it is quite relevant actually, because it is from Aries, and it does give you a little bit of useful information. For example, look, it tells you that this gun was tested before being packaged in March 2015. Nice to know, but no longer needed. Thank you. Another thing I absolutely love about this Honey Badger is that it is LiPo ready. It also has a MOSFET built in, which gives you a very nice and crisp trigger response. And of course, I'll be testing that out later in the shooting test. The gun also features a full metal gearbox, built-in electronic firing control system, which gives you multiple firing modes when connected to the optional electronic gearbox programmer unit. Another cool feature on this gun is the hop-up adjustable wheel. Now, if I show it to you right here, beneath here, I don't know if you can just see, it's a nice wheel. 
So it's very easy to adjust the hop up by simply winding it up that way or winding it down that way. A lot of other hop up adjustable wheels, you have to spin and it's a bit more difficult. This one is designed so it's a lot easier. Another cool feature on this gun is the stippled grip. Very nice. And of course the serrations right here gives it a very, very sturdy grip. And once you get your hand on this modular handguard, this is not going anywhere when you're running around in the field. One thing I have to say about this gun which really sets it apart from most guns that I've looked at and tested and used and seen online is that it has one of the most easiest ways of swapping out the battery. A lot of guns is a whole load of palaver to get to the battery compartment. This one is so easy. Look, all you have to do is press in this lever or button right here and pull this cap off. Simple, watch. So I'm just gonna get my finger push against it right there, and you simply pop this off. And look, there's your small Tamiya. Now, if I had to say something negative about this gun, it would only be that you are limited to the space that you have in here to put a battery in. It's no big deal really because the gun doesn't even come with a battery, so you will have to buy your own battery for the gun. I recommend you get this small PEQ box type battery. The reason why I call it a PEQ box style battery is because it's so small, it fits in your PEQ boxes, yeah? It's small, it's compact, it's LiPo, it's 7.4, and it should fit in this stock very easily with room to spare. And now we're just gonna connect this LiPo battery up so at least we'll be able to test that the gun is working. So we just tuck away the excess cable and pop this back on. So let's just give it a quick test just to make sure it works. So let's put it on semi. Oh, and this, this fire selector switch right here, it's got a very beautiful, smooth uh, feeling to it. Very sturdy, it's not loose at all. Clicks into place very nicely. So uh, let's just pull the trigger. Let's hope it works. Oh, nice. And I tell you what, the response on this trigger is like something I've never experienced. This has a MOSFET built into it. So I don't have any other AEG that has that built into it. And you can tell the difference, trust me. Let me just pull that again. The, oh, I've hardly pulled the trigger and it fires. Very responsive. Very nice, very crisp. Right, let's put it back onto safe. Let's get the mag back in. Very nice. Look, I just want to quickly address something. You see these hand stops right there, or whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, that's how you see people using this, this type of gun. It's not my thing. I really do not like holding a gun like this. So it's totally your choice. You can move these down further or even take the top one off and move the bottom one halfway down. You can just get rid of that and actually use it as a little sort of mini grip down the bottom. You can't really get a good purchase on it, but you can actually have your thumb on top, your forefinger on this and have your gun holding it like that further down here. Or just whip them off completely or leave them on, which is what I'm gonna do and hold it how I normally like to hold an AEG or even midway like that. But for me, this, I just can't get on with. It's not me, it's not my style. But hey, each to their own. So what else can I show you about this Aries Amoeba AM013 or the Honey Badger? Well, I do love the fact, as I've shown you before, it has a mock suppressor built in here. And if I show it to you right up at the camera, you can actually see the barrel itself there. And then you see where the mock suppressor starts right there. It's all encaged within this modular handguard system. I like it. This is such a cool looking gun. Honey badgers are not to everyone's taste. Me, I think this gun is sexy. So, let's show you all the 
Aries Amoeba trades all over this gun and the various little markings and trademarks. So let's start off right here, 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 and here. Now there are more, but I'll be here all day. <laughs> so I've shown you around the basic features of this gun. I've told you why I love it, given you some of the features, some of the stuff that you'd really expect to find in a much higher end AEG. Fantastic piece, perfect for CQB, but we all know the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So you know what's coming now, don't you? <laughs> Let's take it to the range. Okay, so here we go, it's the shooting test. So first thing I'm gonna do is drop the mag and I'll just show you here a feature that I really do love is the size of this mag release. It is huge, which is good if you like to wear gloves like I do when I skirmish and when I do my reviews. So, let's drop the mag. As I mentioned before, it is a high cap mag. So you've got your wheel on the base right there and you've got your little flip up door right here that you open up and you fill it up with about 300 BBs. Right, so the BBs are in, as you can see there. And now we get to the bottom of the mag and wind her up. Okay, so BBs are in the mag, mag's in the gun. Gun is currently on safe, so I'm just gonna put it onto semi-auto. We'll take our first shot just to make sure the gun works. Very nice, very responsive trigger, as I mentioned before. Um, let's have a quick test of the full auto. Woo! Ho -ho! Let's do that again. Oh, very nice indeed. So as you saw there, it shoots successfully in semi-auto and full auto. Absolutely fantastic. As I showed you before, safe, semi, full. But you can change that, as I mentioned before, if you get yourself one of those optional electronic gearbox programmer units. Absolutely fantastic. That unit will enable you to change these settings on this gun so you can turn it into a sort of a DMR type gun or change it so that it does a triple shot or three shot burst. It's just so fantastic. Or you can program it so it doesn't do full auto. So it just, you know, does safe and semi-auto or safe and semi-auto and three shot bursts or all different combinations. Get yourself one of those boxes if you do want to have that feature on this gun. But as I mentioned, out of the box, safe, semi-auto and full auto. Now, let's move on now to the accuracy.
on full auto. This is the fantastic Aries Amoeba AM013 AEG. Based on the Honey Badger, fantastic looking piece. Absolutely love this. As always, all my unboxings and reviews are brand new out of the box. So once I've had this skirmished, I'll do a follow up review later on in the year and give you. To be fair though, my favourite Call of Duty game so far since the beginning, for me, has to be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2.